First and foremost, uh, families, again, welcome uh, to everyone that is here. Bienvenidos a todos que están aquí. Um, ya los que son nuevos a nuestra familia de Animo a Ochoa, a las familias que regresan. Um, welcome to the families that are returning. Welcome to our new families. Um, and now I want to take the opportunity um, to introduce you to our AEO team and family members. Um, so, primeramente, um, I know most of you, I think, um, not in person, but you probably know of me. Um, I am Missy Barra. I am the principal of Animo Alan Ochoa. This is my fifth year being principal here. Prior to being principal here at Animo Alan Ochoa, I was also principal of Oscar de la Hoya Animo Charter High School um, for five years as well. Um, and I'm a proud Gar Garfield High School graduate. And what you see here, you see pictures of my uh, daughter and my mom who are my everything. Um, and that's a little bit about me. Um, so familias, este, um, bienvenidos otra vez. Uh, conozco mucho de ustedes, pero me voy a introducir otra vez. Yo soy Messi Barra, la directora de la escuela. Orgullosamente he sido la directora de Animo Alan Ochoa. Ya van, con este va a ser mi quinto año. Antes de ser directora aquí, fui directora de Oscar de la Hoya Animo Charter High School. Um, y con mucho orgullo digo que me gradué de Carfield. Um, y aquí están unas fotos de mi familia, de mi niña, uh, mi mamá, que son mi mundo, son mi todo. Um, y es un poquito de quién soy yo. Um, ahora este, quiero um, dejar que Mesotero este, se introduzca. Uh, también, ah, sorry, se introduzca um, a ustedes. Uh, Mesotero, go right ahead. Buenas tardes, eh, padres, familias, estudiantes. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to say it in English first. Um, I'm Ms. Otero, one of the assistant principals. Many of you know me, so I'll make this brief just in case we have any new family members. Um, I um, am the proud assistant principal of Animo Alan Ochoa. Um, to the left of the screen, you see a picture of my family that um, I love very much with all of my heart. So I, I care very deeply for my work um, in schools and, and my community and my family. Those are my passions. Um, I am also um, proud to say that I grew up in East Los Angeles in Boyle Heights. And it is an honor for me Lord. to serve and work in my community. Um, also, I am starting my 16th year um, working with our school district, Green Dot Public Schools. And I'm starting my 10th year as um, an administrator assistant principal for Green Dot Public Schools. Um, buenas tardes, soy la señora Otero, una de las subdirectoras de nuestra escuela. Um, a la lado izquierdo de la pantalla es una foto de mi pequeña familia que amo con todo mi corazón. Um, tengo... Um, Eh, 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 mis, mis pasiones en la vida son, claro, mi familia eh, mi, eh, en casa y mi familia en la escuela, mi, eh, mi segunda familia en Ánimo Elon Ochoa. Um, también orgullosamente es, me crié en el este de Los Ángeles, um, Boyle Heights, um, y me da mucho honor y orgullo poder servir y trabajar en la comunidad donde yo me crié. Um, también un poquito más sobre mí, voy a, estoy empezando mi décimo sexto año trabajando para el distrito de Green Dot y estoy empezando mi décimo año como subdirectora para el distrito de Green Dot. Um, así que muchísimas gracias y espero verlos a todos pronto en persona. Thank you so much, Ms. Otero. And uh, families, um, our family has grown too. I want to um, allow Mr. Vaughn, um, our assistant, our, our second assistant principal, uh, to introduce himself. Uh, familias, también quiero decirles que nuestra familia ha crecido. Ahora vamos a tener dos uh, subdirectores, una subdirectora, un subdirector. Um, con mucho orgullo, les introduzco al señor Vaughn. Mr. Vaughn, go right ahead. Thank you, Ms. Ibarra. And welcome to all the families to our orientation night. Um, Specifically, welcome to the sixth grade families who are new to our school. Um, but for everybody who is just meeting me today, I'm really excited to be joining the AEO family. I've been um, in administration for three years. So this is my fourth year as a school administrator. And I've been in education for eight years. This will be my ninth year, which sounds crazy that it's been that long. But the best way for me to sum this up really quickly is that I'm blessed to be able to do something I love every single day. This is not just a job for me, it's, um, it's a calling. So I look forward to getting to know all of you throughout the year in person. Um, and I'm here if you need anything. Again, my name is Mr. Vaughn and I can't wait to meet you all in person. 
Thank you, Mr. Vaughn. I'll go ahead and, and say it in Spanish. So, el señor Vaughn este, um, también dice que es un gran honor poder servir a, a esta escuela. Él ha sido administrador por tres años y ha tenido nueve años en educación. También aquí es un poquito de quién es él. Um, a la mano izquierda es, es su familia, que también es... Um, su todo y también le quería dar la bienvenida a todos, pero especialmente a los alumnos, a familias entrando al sexto grado, que son las familias más nuevas que están aquí con nosotros en Ánimo a un Ocho. Ok, bueno, familias, este, nuestra familia sigue igual. Um, este es el equipo de operaciones. Eh, tenemos a la señorita González, eh, asistente de oficina, el señor García, que ya conocieron. También está con nosotros y sigue con nosotros el señor Álvarez, que es seguridad de la escuela. Y voy a dejar que el señor Álvaro, Alvarado se introduzca con ustedes. So families, again, um, our operations team has remained the same. Um, Ms. Gonzalez is our office assistant. Mr. Garcia uh, continues to be our parent coordinator. And we have Mr. Alvarez, who is our uh, security officer for our, our school. Um, Mr. Alvarado, I'll go ahead and let you introduce yourself. Thank you, Ms. Ibarra. Uh, welcome families, bienvenidos. Uh, I'm, I'm Mr. Alvarado, I'm the operations manager for the school. Um, I work in the main office and with the operations team uh, to, to help uh, the school out in, in many different areas. Um, we're here to help you out. If you need anything, just stop by the main office and we'll help you out. Uh, bienvenidos familias, yo soy el gerente de operaciones. Uh, soy el señor Alvarado. Um, Yo trabajo con la, el equipo de operaciones de la oficina. Uh, estamos para servirles y, y cualquier cosa no duden en visitarnos. Thank you so much, Mr. Alvarado. Okay, all right, families. Um, just to get our, our energy going, you know, it's 4.30, some of you are tired. We're gonna play a game. So para este, tener, eh, subir nuestra energía y este, um, son las cuatro, pasado de las cuatro y media y asegurar que todos estamos enfocados. Vamos a hacer un juego uh, muy corto. So we're gonna play a family game that's called Name That Tune. What you're gonna do, this is a family challenge, okay? So if you're with your kids, they can go ahead and play along as well. In a moment, we're gonna practice, I'm gonna play a song and you have to type in the chat the name of the song along with the artist. So en un momento, este, esto es para la familia, es que si están sus hijos ahí con ustedes también pueden jugar. Voy a poner una canción y lo que ustedes van a hacer es que en el momento que sepan uh, qué es la canción, tienen que poner la canción y el nombre eh, de la persona eh, que está um, cantando la canción. Uh, primeramente vamos a practicar, and again, can you believe it, Mr. Vaughn and Ms. Sotero, I didn't share my audio, so I have to reshare um, my screen in a moment to make sure that we can uh, hear the audio as well, okay? So um, you should be able to uh, uh, see my uh, audio in a moment, you should have the audio. And I am going to go ahead and share with you um, the song. Again, remember your job is to guess what song it is. So recuerden, ahora su trabajo es escuchar la canción y decirnos qué es el nombre de la canción y quién es el artista. This is practice. Here we go. Good grammar and spelling. Ah. Was it, were you able to hear the sound? Yes, I put a little bit. It's Mana. The, for some reason in this song, um, Cerca, you're close. Ms. Carrillo, you're close, 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 close. I put a little bit. Any more guesses? Yes, it is Mana, but it's not, um, it no es esa. Let's see if someone else gets it. It is Mana. It's Oye Mi Amor. It's close, close, close. All right, all right, here we go. <laughs> Nombre de canción y cantante. Muy bien. That was just practice, so don't worry about it, okay? All right, we have one more. Vamos a hacer otra. Recuerden, nombre de la canción, nombre del cantante. Remember, name that song and name the artist. Here we go again. Oh, that one was quick, 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 quick. It's como la flor, yes, yes, yes. All right. 
See, now you're participating. That's good. And, and we're doing this because we want to get the energy up. Queremos que la energía sube y también para que sepan que aquí todos participamos. Okay. All right. This is the last song, last game, that uh, part of the game. I'm going to put one last one and uh, here we go. <laughs> Sounds a little harder. Oh, Miss Rin, Miss Rendon, you got it. Okay, people were getting, people were, were, were taking longer with that. Bueno, muchísimas gracias por su particip participación, familias. Thank you so much for participating. As you can see, we can have fun even if it is um, online. So we're going to go ahead and transition back um, to our presentation. Um, and then I'm going to start with something. Um, the first day of school, students, is August 11th. El primer día de escuela es el 11 de agosto. But families, when you see this date, what is an emotion that you feel? Uh, familias, cuando ven esta fecha, que es una emoción que sienten, um, por favor, pongan esa palabra eh, in el chat. So if you can, please, please, please go ahead and put in your, um, your uh, emotion. Students, you can go ahead and do it too. Thank you, Cassandra, happy. I'm happy too. Um, ansiedad nervioso, excited. Yes, Ms. Espinosa, happy and nervous. Thank you so much. Excited to meet people. Diana, yes, I'm, I'm excited to see you too. Um, the reality is this, students and families, whatever you're feeling is correct. Um, it, is, it is right, it is correct, um, nothing is wrong. Um, familias, les quiero decir realmente que lo que ustedes están sintiendo ahorita es lo correcto, porque hay muchas emociones que son correctas. Um, it's fine to be scared. It's fine to be nervous. Está bien es tener miedo, tener nerviosismo. Um, yo soy mamá, yo tengo una alumna de 13 años que va a entrar al noveno grado y tengo las mismas emociones. I'm a parent. I'm the, do I'm the parent of a 13-year-old little girl who's going into ninth grade, and I have the same feelings you're having. So, what today is, is we're going to focus on a lot of things, but I want to start off about talking about health and safety on how we're going to keep all of you safe when you come back to school. So vamos a hablar de muchas cosas, familias, pero primeramente voy a hablar de qué es lo que está haciendo Animo Alan Ochoa para asegurar que nuestros alumnos y nuestros maestros y panel estén seguros um, al regreso a la escuela. Okay. Eh, si les digo con anticipación que es mucha información, I will tell you that this is a lot of information. Um, vamos a pausar en momentos para agarrar preguntas, pero si en grado caso tienen preguntas, pueden ponerlo en el chat. Um, we will be stopping to ask, to allow you to ask questions, but as we're going through the presentation, if you have questions, you can also put them in the chat. All right, here we go. First and foremost, families, I'm going to do this in English first, and then I'm going to do it in Spanish. Um, all students every day, including adults, vendors, or contractors, are going to be screened before they come to Animo Alan Ochoa, okay? Um, we're going to be doing temperature checks. They're going to be going through um, uh, specific uh, COVID screening questions, and we're going to highly encourage appointments um, when coming to the office as much as possible, okay? Um, entonces, um, familias, oh, sorry. Entonces, familias, este, una de las cosas que vamos a hacer para eh, la seguridad de estos hijos es que cada alumno, maestro, familia, este, personas que ayudan a mantener la escuela van a tener que pasar por un screening donde se les va a hacer preguntas um, uh, de, de, de COVID y también se les va a tomar su temperatura. Um, y también estamos, este, cuando puedan hacer eh, eh, cita para venir a la escuela, es importante que hagan eso. También quiero decirles que ninguna persona que tenga una temperatura más de 100.4 va a poder entrar a la escuela. So families, any person that has a temperature 100.4 or above are not going to be able to enter our campus, okay? Um, these are some of the questions that we're going to be asking our students, uh, staff, and vendors when they come in. Um, have you been under quarantine or isolation orders in the last three days? Have you experienced cough, shortness, or breath in the or chills in the last three days? Have you been in contact um, uh, to anyone known to be infected with COVID in the last 14 days? Um, these are the questions. Entonces, estas preguntas que ven aquí, si han estado en cuarentena um, o aislados los últimos tres días, si han tenido eh, este tos o eh, problema con respirar, um, fiebre en los últimos tres días, si han estado en contacto con alguien que ha sido 
positivo con COVID? Son todas las preguntas que vamos a hacer. Um, families, I encourage you to really think about this and even ask your own children these questions at home. Um, you know if your child is either sick or has allergies, you know the difference. Um, familias, también les digo que por favor hagan estas preguntas a sus hijos en la casa. Ustedes conocen a sus hijos y saben la diferencia si en realidad están enfermos o si es alergia o algo que es fuera de lo, de lo normal. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I'll just go ahead and let uh, Mr. Ron and Ms. Otero go ahead and take um, this slide. So, um, can the host? Yeah, thank you. Awesome. All right, we're going to talk about face coverings real quick. Um, and this is really important to stopping the spread of COVID. And this is probably the most important thing our students and our parents and our staff can do to ensure we're all safe. So in addition to a uniform, all students are required to wear a face covering at all times while indoors, um, on campus, and when distancing is not permitted outside. Masks should remain on during passing periods. And face coverings must be worn by all adults on campus, regardless of their vaccination status. So just to summarize that, everybody will be wearing a mask at all times, unless they're eating or drinking. Some acceptable face coverings, just so we can be as safe as possible. So the, the coverings that we're talking about are a mask or two layered secure dot, uh, cloth that completely covers your nose and mouth and fits snugly to the sides of your face and under your chin. So ask your students to put the masks on that they have and make sure that they're not too loose. Cause I saw some students during, um, summer bridge with masks that would fall down a lot and it was hard for them to keep it up. Face shields worn with a face covering but not in place of one. So you can wear a face shield as well over your mask. And lastly, if your medical provider or doctor says that you cannot wear a mask, you must wear a face shield along with a drape at the bottom um, over your mouth. So that'll make sure that we can still be safe even if you can't wear a mask. Thank you, Mr. Vaughn. Ahora en español, eh, vamos a hablar sobre las, um, los tapabocas y es importantísimo porque um, ya los estudios nos han indicado que es la, una de las herramientas más importantes para disminuir la transmisión de, de este virus, ¿no? de COVID. Um, así que las, los tapabocas son sumamente importantes y por esa razón um, vamos a requerir que todos, um, todas las personas que entren al plantel escolar usen y tengan um, un tapabocas um, que cubra completamente la nariz y la boca en todo tiempo, um, ya sea afuera o adentro del edificio. Pero cuando, cuando estén en el plantel escolar, todas las personas tienen que, que tener una mascarilla puesta, um, eh, adultos, estudiantes, um, sin importar su estatus de, de vacuna. Así que um, no importa si, si la persona esté vacunada, todos tenemos que usar nuestra uh, mascarilla o tapabocas. Um, <clears throat> ¿Qué tipo de tapabocas es aceptable? Eh, eh, los tapabocas primeramente que cubren, com como dije, completamente la nariz y la boca. A mí es importante que, um, que, se, que es un tapabocas, tapabocas que no se esté bajando en cada momento. Uh, muchas veces, ¿verdad? Eh, si, no, si, no, si no queda bien, eh, se cae y es incómodo. Eh, queremos que, bueno, como los niños, los estudiantes van a tenerlo puesto todo el día, que sea algo cómodo y que, tap, que tape la nariz y boca en todo momento y que no se esté cayendo. Um, también debe ser eh, hecha de una tela fuerte, fuerte a mí que no, y no puede ser un panuelo, por ejemplo. Um, también si, eh, si alguien no puede usar um, un tapabocas por razones médicas, um, debe usar una careta. Y si es un estudiante, eso es algo que deberíamos de saber de antemano y, por, y que deberían de comunicar um, con la administración um, antes, ¿verdad? Um, también... Eh, Creo que, creo que repasé todo. <ríe> Pensé que se me había faltado algo, pero no. Eso era todo sobre los um, tapabocas. That's okay. You two are doing amazing. It's a lot of information. Es mucha información. Este, um, so I totally get it. It's totally okay. 
We're also going to have specific safety measures in the classroom and hallways to make sure everyone on campus is safe at all times. Um, just to clarify one more time, all staff and students must wear masks while they're on campus and a student should bring an extra mask in their backpack if we have some just in case, but it's a good practice for them to have one as well. Um, students will also be cleaning their desks in every single classroom and we'll provide them with the antibacterial wipes. This will make sure that their desks are um, sterilized for each period. There's also sanitizing stations throughout the school to make sure that they can they have access to that whenever they need it. Um, we'll be ensuring that our students are washing their hands as much as possible. We won't, our um, water fountains will be closed. However, we do have water filters. So all a student needs to bring is a water bottle and they can fill up their water as much as they want. And they will be allowed to drink water throughout the day um, and then just put their mask back on. Sí, medidas de seguridad en los salones eh, de clase y los pasillos. Um, como dijimos anteriormente, todos um, eh, adultos y estudiantes deben tener su mascarilla en todo momento. Um, los estudiantes eh, eh, van a tener un protocolo que tienen que higienizar o desinfectar sus escritorios y su área um, al entrar al salón y antes de salir del salón. Um, también vamos a tener estaciones de antibacterial um, en toda la escuela y también adentro de los salones. Um, también vamos a, a, ten, a estar re, recordando a los estudiantes de la importancia de lavar um, las manos con jabón y agua por lo menos 20, seg 20 segundos. Y vamos a tener carteles y vamos a, a usar recordatorios verbales también. Y vamos a contar con la ayuda de ustedes, um, los papás en la casa, para um, recordarles de esta importancia de lavar las manos con jabón y agua durante todo el día. Uh, también otra cosa que, um, que, que vamos a hacer y que um, ya hemos, hemos estado practicando durante el verano es que um, hemos apagado las fuentes de agua um, en la parte que se usa con, donde la boca tiene contacto con la fuente. Esa parte está apagada, pero uh, la, tenemos una parte más arriba donde los estudiantes pueden a llenar sus botellas reusables de agua y por esa razón um, recomendamos y, le, y pedimos que los niños traigan botellas reusables de, eh, a la escuela todos los días porque esa va a ser la única manera um, que van a tener para tomar agua ya que la otra parte de la fuente donde um, normalmente nos agachamos y tomamos agua esa parte va a estar apagada así que por favor um, es importante que los niños lleven una botella para llenar su botella en las fuentes. Thank you for that, Ms. Otero and Mr. Um, Bond. I think another thing, um, um, and I apologize, I didn't put it here. Another thing families that our organization did um, and specifically at AEO is that we have UV lighting in all classrooms. Um, and so that is known to um, uh, kill, um, you know, any, any type of anything that's there, which is why they put it. Um, in addition to that, um, we have, um, uh, uh, air filtration um, in each classroom. So, otra cosa en adición que estamos haciendo que nuestra organización hizo es que puso luces ultravioletas. Did I say it right, Ms. Otero? You told me from, yeah, ultravioletas. Y eso, este, científicamente son los que matan microbios. En adición de eso, también hay sistemas um, eh, miniaturas de eh, filtración de aire que están en los salones. Now, students, you can drink water in the classroom, but that means that when you have your mask on, loves, you just take it, you know, down for a few seconds, drink the water, put it back up. That's it. Entonces, no es decir um, que los alumnos no pueden tomar agua, uh, alumnos. Simplemente este, se bajan una mascarilla unos segundos, toman el agua y para atrás. Okay? So just something so that you know. We don't want you to take off your, your masks in the classroom. No queremos que se quiten eh, las máscaras en las clases. Y esto va a ser también afuera. Um, y vamos a hablar de eso en un momento. All right, go ahead, Mr. Vaughn. So now we're gonna talk about um, student lunch and specifically around COVID safety. So students will still be asked to wear their masks at lunch. And this is because we cannot always ensure social distancing. And just as an extra precaution, we wanna be as safe as possible. So masks will be required when we're playing sports outside. Um, and they'll only be allowed to remove their masks if they're eating or drinking at lunch. Durante el almuerzo, um, los estudiantes tienen que mantener la mascarilla puesta. Um, claro que cuando están comiendo, um, se pueden quitar eh, la mascarilla, pero si no están comiendo 
o tomando de su botella de agua, eh, tienen que tener su mascarilla pues, um, puesta um, en todo momento, um, incluso cuando están jugando. Um, y eso es porque no podemos asegurar 100% la distancia distanciamiento social cuando todos los niños están afuera. Así que um, para um, mejor protección, todos vamos a tener nuestras mascarillas afuera dura, eh, puestas durante el almuerzo cuando estamos afuera. Okay, so the question is, um, once we do, or you're probably thinking, um, if a student fails entry, the, the screen entry, remember everyone is gonna get screened, what is it that, that happens? Um, first of all, there's two ways that a student can fail um, entry into school. One way is if they fail due to exposure and being close to someone that is um, that tested positive for COVID. So if that's the case, Um, we will be conducting rapid COVID tests on campus. Keep in mind that that documentation will be included um, uh, during your orient the documents that you'll turn in during your orientation appointment, which you'll be getting your appointment later today. Um, so we'll conduct the test. Now, if the parent or, or guardian is, is there, then the student will be sent home and we'll begin the isolation period. If the student is positive, and there's no parent or guardian, we will have an isolation room where the child will be supervised. Um, and then again, we'll be sent home once the parent or guardian is available. Also, um, now let's just say if the student is negative, um, once we give them the rapid uh, COVID test, then the student um, can attend class and we'll just monitor to see if they get any symptoms. Now, as far as if a student um, failed the screening due to symptoms, Symptoms means if they have the cough or, you know, the other things that, that um, you know, they'll be screened on. Um, again, we're going to be conducting the rapid um, test for COVID. Parents, you will remember, you'll, you'll have to give authorization for that. Again, if the child um, tests positive, same process. Um, they'll be sent home with the parent or a guardian um, to begin the isolation period. Um, if they're positive due to symptoms, and there's no parent or guardian, we will have that isolation room where there will be someone that is supervising the child and then the child will get picked up as soon as um, they can. And again, if the student is negative, um, they take the, the rapid COVID test and they're negative. And um, you know, we, we do send the student home until they no longer um, have symptoms of illness. Um, so that is something that we're doing. So familias, este lo que ven aquí, es que como les dije antes, este, vamos a tener un uh, screening de COVID para cada alumno que entra a la escuela. Um, entonces, hay dos maneras que un alumno puede eh, fallar ese screening. La primera manera va a ser si el alumno dice que ha estado en contacto con alguien que ha tenido, um, que ha sido positivo para COVID. Si este es el caso, um, y las cosas, los, los pasos son casi igual en, lo, en los dos, las dos situaciones. Primeramente vamos a tener, darles un examen de COVID um, uh, rápido que vamos a tener ahí en la escuela. Obviamente padres van a dar autorización para eso. Los documentos se los vamos a dar eh, um, para que llenen cuando tengan su cita de orientación. Ahora, si el alumno es positivo o positiva eh, y si está el padre o tutor allí, este, vamos a mandar el alumno inmediatamente a casa con el, la, el papá o el tutor. Eh, si el alumno o alumna es positivo o positiva y no hay padre o tutor disponible, eh, vamos a tenerlos en un uh, salón aislado supervisados um, hasta que alguien pueda recogerlos. Y si el alumno o alumna es, está, toma el examen de COVID y es negativo o negativa, entonces vamos a dejar que regresen a clase. Ahora, otra manera que el alumno o alumna puede este, fallar el, el uh, screening de COVID en la mañana es si tienen síntomas. Igual vamos a darles el examen rápido de COVID. Um, se les da casi, um, eh, no sé si es dentro de 15, una, 15 minutos o una hora que se dan los resultados, pero es rápido. Este, si el alumno o alumna es positiva, este, igual y si está el padre o tutor allí, se mandan a la casa. Si el alumno o alumna es positiva, pero no hay un tutor o padres que lo pueden llevar, vamos a tenerlos aislados en un cuarto supervisados. Este, um, hasta que alguien pueda recoger el alumno o alumna. Y ahora si el alumno o alumna es, uh, tener, toma el examen de COVID y es negativo o negativa, vamos a mandar el alumno o alumna a casa hasta que no tengan síntomas más. Okay. Um, otra cosa que vamos a hacer acerca de examen de COVID. Okay. Um, ánimo a Alden Ochoa, perdón. 
eh, va a este, eh, darle el examen a, a cada semana a 10% de los alumnos y del panel. Um, eso significa que más o menos es este, um, como un salón a la semana. Um, no va a ser por la nariz, va a ser por la saliva, una clase por semana. Um, y algo aquí que está aquí, automáticamente si su alumno ya fue registrado um, en la escuela y ha sido parte de nuestra escuela, automáticamente la compañía CoVerify, que es la compañía que nos ayuda con los exámenes, ya están registrados con su sistema. Um, ahora, las vacunas familias, um, nosotros recomendamos esas vacunas para sus alumnos si tienen 12 años o más. No es requisito, pero es una recomendación si es que lo pueden hacer. Nosotros también sabemos que a veces por cosas de salud o uh, cosas religiosas este, no pueden, pero les recomendamos de todo corazón que vacunen a sus hijos si tienen 12 años o más. Um, sinceramente, um, yo le digo con sinceridad, yo estoy vacunada, mi hija está vacunada, mi soltero está vacunada, nuestro hermano está vacunado, mi soltero está esperando pronto que agarre la vacuna a su niña que no tiene 12 años. Entonces, les digo de corazón, si tienen la oportunidad, por favor, vacunen a ustedes y por favor, vacunen a sus hijos si es que pueden. So families, I do want to share that Animo Alan Ochoa will be testing 10% of their staff and students once a week for COVID testing. Um, and this is going to be um, a saliva test. Um, the test is self-administered and it is through a company called CoVerify. This pretty much comes out to about one class per week. Now, um, you actually don't have to register your child on CoVerify. If you registered your child prior to uh, July 27th, then you're automatically registered so that your child can take the exam. Um, one thing I will say, families, is that Vaccinations at this point for COVID are not required. I'll talk in a moment which one is required. Um, but we highly recommend that um, children who can get vaccinated that are 12 and up do it. Um, I'm vaccinated. My daughter, who's 13, is vaccinated. Ms. Otero is vaccinated. Mr. Vaughn is vaccinated. Ms. Otero wants her daughter to be vaccinated, but her daughter is not 12. And so we cannot force you to do this. Um, and we respect your choice. But if you can, vaccinate your child and you and your family, please do so. Um, um, that is what that we do recommend. Um, now, there is one vaccination that is required. Um, Mr. Alvarado, do you want to kind of chime in a little bit about the vaccination that is required? Remember, the COVID vaccination is not required. La vacuna de COVID no es requisito, pero ahorita el señor Alvarado va a hablar un poquito de la vacuna que sí es requisito. Um, sí, familias. Entonces, eh, como mencionó Messi Barra, uh, para los estudiantes que van a entrar al séptimo grado, um, sí hay una vacuna que es requerida, que viene siendo la, la que es más conocida como la tosferina, o por sus siglas en inglés, TIDA. Um, todos los estudiantes que tengan que asistir, que van a asistir al séptimo grado, tienen que tener esa, um, esa vacuna. Es requerida por el estado de California y entonces sí la necesita para poder ir al plantel. Si no tiene la vacuna, no puede asistir a la escuela. Um, so, uh, like Ms. Ibarra mentioned, there is a vaccine that is required by the state. Um, the, that vaccine is it's more commonly known as the whooping cough or uh, Tdap. Uh, basically, any student that's entering the seventh grade is uh, required to have the Tdap shot uh, to be able to go into the school. If the student does not have that shot, they will not be allowed to attend classes. So they will need to get it. And um, also including sixth grade families, um, it's something to keep in mind. So if your student is gonna be entering seventh grade next school year, it sh you should start planning on, on getting on that shot. También familias, para las familias que están en el sexto grado, sería bueno que empiecen a planear para que su estudiante reciba esa vacuna uh, para que estén listos para entrar al séptimo grado. La vacuna sí es requerida, pero nada más para los estudiantes que empiezan el séptimo grado. Thank you so much for that um, information. So yes, so just to recap, the uh, COVID vaccination is not required. It is highly recommended, but the Tdap vaccination is required for a child to come to school. Um, otra vez quiero decirlo directamente, la vacuna um, eh, um, eh, no es um, eh, 
requisito de COVID. Esa no es un requisito, pero la vacuna de TDAP sí es un requisito para que su um, alumno eh, venga a la escuela. Ok. Eh, vamos a pausar para preguntas. Um, there was actually a question in the chat that I want to address. Um, the question in the chat was, will Animo Eleanor Choa be offering um, uh, Zoom classes, distance learning? Um, la pregunta en el chat es eh, si Animo Eleanor Choa va a estar ofreciendo clases por Zoom para alumnos. La respuesta, um, our, my response is um, no, we are not. However, we are offering something called independent studies for a small number of students who are interested. Independent studies um, is very different than Zoom. It is not, it is done at home, um, it is done with packets and there's limited um, support um, from teachers where, um, and it's not our teachers per se, it's gonna be a, a different uh, company that's gonna provide it. Um, so that is something that is there. Um, if you are interested in that independent studies, I ask that you um, reach out to me um, directly so that I can jot down your name and the name of your child. Entonces, familias, la pregunta, la respuesta es, no vamos a tener clases por Zoom ofrecidas. Si alguien está interesado o interesada en um, algo diferente, si vamos a de, uh, um, tener clases um, de eh, estudios independientes um, para pocos alumnos, pero quiero que sepan que eso es muy diferente. Eso no es en la escuela es el trabajo que los alumnos deben de poder tener hacerlo solos y si sí hay apoyo de maestros, pero no es en la escuela, es con una compañía diferente. Si ustedes están interesados en, de, en eso, este, en un, el final les voy a pedir que me, eh, me pueden mandar um, um, un correo electrónico o me pueden dar su nombre y número así para poder contactarme con ustedes y darles más y dejar que les demos más información um, de qué exactamente es independent studies, ¿ok? Um, yes, so uh, yes, so there's going to be um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and respond to that. Si va a haber programa de después de escuela, we are going to have an after school program. Um, in a moment, um, we are going to uh, share with you um, um, how to go ahead and enroll your child in the after school program. En un momento les vamos a compartir cómo este, um, eh, inscriben a sus hijos en el programa de um, después de escuela. Um, and you'll get that information. Y también van a poder llenar esa forma en persona cuando llenen las formas escolares. So you'll also have an opportunity to fill out that after school program um, form in person um, if, uh, when you drop off your documents. Um, so the question here is if a student is positive for COVID, will the school let the families of the rest of the school know? Um, so one thing that we are doing is um, contact tracing. Um, I do need to get clarification if it's just one child, if we let everyone know. One thing that I will uh, tell you is that um, uh, we, our school, our organization is doing an amazing job of giving us systems to make sure we have contact tracing. What does that mean? Is for example, in the classrooms, teachers have to do, um, um, you know, their seating charts um, online. They can't change them so that we know where everyone's sitting. We're doing all kinds of different things, um, uh, you know, to make sure that your child is, is safe and we're keeping everything clean from UV lighting, from sanitizations, from air filtration systems, masks on all the time. Um, uh, you know, so um, one thing that I will say um, in response to, will you be notified um, if your child was in contact um, with someone that tested positive? Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna also say this, keep in mind that we screen kids in the morning. So if we, obviously we catch them in the morning and they're positive, we're not gonna have the child, they're gonna be in an isolation room. Now, if your child was um, uh, maybe sitting by them, we are gonna let the students that were um, in contact with that, the, the parent, the child know um, in that case. Um, so, uh, but it, Okay, um, Mr. Mariscal, I'll respond to your question in a moment. Um, eh, señora Cleotilde, ¿me puede decir un poquito de su pregunta? Si va a haber bases para ir a regresar de la escuela. ¿Me puede decir un poquito um, eh, eh, que, que de su pregunta? Lo puedo poner en el chat si quiere. Um, y y si, um, va a ser para poder responderla. Ok. Um, ok. Um, Ok. 
So as far as um, uh, Mr. Mariscal, I'm gonna respond um, uh, to your um, uh, to your question. Um, you know, with the Delta variant, which you know, scientifically speaking, um, you know, diseases mutate, unfortunately, and it does, um, you know, uh, mutate more so, especially when folks aren't aren't vaccinated, right? And it's hard because we have children that are not of age to be vaccinated and some of us want them to be, right? As far as safety, um, uh, we have to uh, do a complete um, safety um, uh, protocol and we have to have a process just in case if, if this is the case, if there is for active shooter. Um, so we not only have to train our staff that have to go through training, we have to also train our students. And so that's not going away. Um, as far as is Animo Alamo Chua, um, uh, uh, do we qualify for school police? Um, we do contract, so there's a couple of things. We have our campus security officer, um, but we do in cases of emergency reach out to our local sheriffs if, if there is a situation. We do have a district wide um, security department that also assists us in making sure that we're doing everything possible to make sure that our children are safe. I do wanna remind you that our school is a closed campus. And so that's another reason why you know, we have the gates. That's another reason why, you know, you have to buzz in to come in. Um, and, and, and it's not, it's the realities, unfortunately, of our schools now, right, that we actually have to think about it. Um, I can talk to you a little bit more, um, sir, if you want, um, offline and give you more detail, um, but that's a little bit about what we're doing. So, um, la pregunta es, es, ¿qué estamos haciendo para, este, por ejemplo, de seguridad cuando hay un este, um, uh, active shooter, si, por su, si hay alguien que entra a la escuela que hay una balacera, desafortunadamente um, hemos visto eso en nuestra nación. Algo que les quiero decir es que nosotros este, tenemos que tener un plan y entrenamiento para todas las uh, personas en nuestra escuela, para los maestros, para los alumnos. Um, um, es, um, esto es algo que, que, thank you, Ms. Lao, esto es algo que tenemos que hacer. Um, pero aparte de eso, también tenemos nosotros, cuando hay una situación, contactamos a el Sheriff Station local, pero también nosotros tenemos un centro de seguridad en el distrito de Cunda que nos ayuda a asegurar que estamos haciendo todo lo posible um, para asegurar que estamos um, eh, um, uh, haciendo todo lo posible para tener seguro. Sí, uh, uh, basado en transporte escolar, este año no vamos a tener transporte escolar. Um, eh, no lo vamos a tener desafortunadamente. Este, pero también si gusta hablar más en detalle, señora Clotilde, podemos hablar eso um, en detalle. So we will not be having a um, bus this year. Um, that is something that we haven't had um, for a while now. Um, and we, but we will not be having it this year. Um, and thank you again, um, Ms. Delao, uh, for offering, um, for training. I'll definitely, um, should we need, um, we, we contract with the company already, but I'm sure if there's changes, I'll, changes, I'll reach out to you. Um, Pregunta es si el estudiante tiene uh, la vacuna de COVID, tiene que tomarse la prueba cada semana. Sí. Um, um, yes. So if a student has uh, the um, vaccine, um, we are still um, going to um, test them if they're part of that group. So algo que quiero clarificar, uh, señora Castellón, no es que vamos a dar el examen a todos los alumnos cada semana. Se va uh, cada semana, eh, va, va a ser este um, 10% um, eh, de los alumnos que van a tomar el examen. Entonces es una rotación. Um, pero sí, este, sí, en esa rotación, si el alumno eh, tiene, um, eh, um, tiene la vacuna y es parte de esa, de esa um, uh, rotación, este, um, eh, van a tener que tomar el examen. Um, y es por saliva um, y ustedes agarran esa notificación. Um, uh, ¿Me puede decir un poquito, señora Servidón, de su pregunta? Um, fue directamente a mí, pero me puede dar más detalle. Um, sí, vamos a tener programa de después de escuela. Este, en un momento les vamos a dar esa información. So we are going to have um, after school programming and we'll share that information in a moment. Señora, uh, Ms. Carabeo, I believe you had a question. Um, thank you for raising your yes. hand. Sorry, I'm, I'm managing a bunch of screens. I didn't ignore you, but feel free to yeah. ask. No, Hi. actually, I have three questions. Yeah, um, go right ahead. Well, my first one is, are the students able to take their own lunch or they're not because of the situation? 
Absolutely. I'll actually go ahead and let Mr. Vaughn and Ms. Sotero answer that question. Mr. Vaughn, if you can answer it in English, and then Ms. Sotero, if you can do Spanish. Go right ahead. Yeah, uh, students can still bring their own lunches just like uh, normal um, before COVID. And we'll go over the a couple guidelines about what they should and shouldn't bring, but it's mostly traditional and they can still bring their lunch to school. Okay. La pregunta era si los estudiantes pueden traer a su almuerzo um, a la escuela, almuerzo de la casa, y la respuesta es sí. Um, vamos a continuar con eso normal como antes. Los niños um, pueden traer un almuerzo uh, preparado en, de eh, casa uh, para comer en la escuela y vamos a hablar un poquito más sobre eso um, un poquito adelante. Go right ahead. We're, um, this is question time, Ms. Carabeo, so give us your okay. second one. Okay. My second question is, in case of an emergency, is there like a uh like a point where all the parents have to meet up to pick up their child or i don't know yes absolutely actually one of my uh our, so la pregunta es si hay una emergencia um si hay un, un terremoto right that's what you're referring to Ms. Carabeo. um if you know where yes. would parents pick up their children um we do um we evacuate if it's something where we can we actually um evacuate to our parking lot which is across the street and that's where you would pick them up i will say that our first coffee with the principal and assistant principal of the year that is one of the things that i'm going to show so i invite all of you to join us Entonces, si, este, si hay una, una emergencia donde tenemos que salir de la escuela, nosotros evacuamos al el, um, el estacionamiento que está cruzando la calle, si es, por, si es que es algo que podemos salir para allá. Y durante el primer café con la directora y sus directores, este, voy a compartir eso y esa información. So you will be able to kind of see it firsthand and know a little bit about what it looks like. Um, let's see. Um, I have one more. One yeah, more go question. ahead. Okay, my now my other question is if the if our child does get um, vaccinated, do we need to provide the school proof that our child has been vaccinated? You know, I'm gonna ask Mr. Alvarado, um, Mr. Alvarado, do they need to provide proof of vaccination? From what I know of, not not at this point, but. Um, if we don't know about this, Ms. Carabeo, I will get back to you on that because I want to make sure I give you the correct information. Mr. Okay. Alvarado, do you know about that? Yeah. So as of right now, uh, they're not required to provide any proof of vaccination other than the required uh, vaccinations by, by law. So that would include the TDAP that I mentioned earlier. Um, so entonces la pregunta es si es requerido, si tu estudiante recibe la vacuna del covid um, si es requerido que presenten el comprobante a la escuela, no es requerido que presenten comprobante uh, por el momento, pero sí uh, es requerido, uh, por ejemplo, de las, de las vacunas que son requeridas, incluyendo la que mencioné hace, hace unos momentos de la CIDAP o de la tosferina. Thank you. No problem, no problem. And again, if any other questions come up, you can, again, feel free to unmute yourself or put them in the chat. Um, uh, Mr. Mariscal, um, uh, as far as, are you talking about the structure of instruction in the classes with for tutoring? Um, or are you referring to if we offer tutoring for students? Eh, la pregunta yeah, que, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's just a, just tutoring in general. Um, I know it's usually held after school, so, um, for the students that are going to be in person, how is that going to, how is that going to work out? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for clarifying that for me. So um, one thing I will say, Mr. Mariscal, is that, um, you know, we want to encourage um, socially, social distancing. Um, you know, we want to encourage three to, three to six feet. Um, you know, when, um, you know, that's something that we want to encourage. Um, that is something that's recommended, but that's not something that is required at this point. Um, and so, but we at Animo Alan Ochoa, we are taking extra precautions based, and, and we shared those earlier that not all schools are doing, right? Um, some schools are not requiring the masks on outside, we are, um, because you just never know, right? And so as far as tutoring is concerned, um, tutoring will still occur, um, but we are gonna encourage that it's a limited amount and that they're, you know, that we, um, you know, we, they keep their masks on. Um, we are also, um, I have to verify this as well, um, uh, during distance learning, we contracted with the tutoring company where kids could get tutoring 24 hours a day. 
Um, so I need to figure out if we're still offering that service. So that's another option as well, because that was an amazing service that we had and it was for free for our students. Um, so el señor Pariscal lo que está preguntando es tutoría. ¿Cómo se va a ver la tutoría para alumnos este, después de la escuela? Algo que les quiero decir es esto. Este, las cosas han cambiado, yo sé que, and, and it's kind of confusing, right? Because we hear like Delta has got, you know, there's more cases and then now, but yet we're going back to school. Entonces es confuso porque vemos que hay más casos, pero estamos regresando a la escuela. Algo que los quiero decir, familias, es que nosotros estamos haciendo todo lo posible para hacer todo eh, más de lo que tenemos que hacer. Por ejemplo, eh, las luces, the UV lighting, the air filtration. There's a lot of things that we're doing. También este, eh, las máscaras hasta afuera, ¿verdad? Los alumnos no pueden, este, um, solamente si se están, están comiendo, están haciendo algo así, um, eh, eh, tomando agua y luego se lo ponen para atrás. Este, um, tienen que tener la máscara. Ahora, eh, los tres a seis pies um, es una recomendación, pero ya no es requisito. Entonces, este, si ustedes están preocupados de que van a estar muy juntos, esto va a ser la realidad, desafortunadamente. That's the reality. You know, we're going to encourage them not to be on top of each other, obviously. Um, nunca quisiéramos que estén todos arriba de, de, de los otros. Ahí estén, estén muy cerca, pero la realidad es, es que ya no es requisito los tres a seis, seis pies. So the reality is that three to six feet is not, um, it is a recommendation, um, but not a, a requirement. So eh, la tutoría después de la escuela va a seguir, pero sí va a ser limitado a números de alumnos. Um, uh, un, um, you will get more information, Mr. Mariscal, on um, uh, teacher office hours and, um, you know, tutoring um, during back to school night, which will be taking place on August 25th. Van a recibir más información de tutoría y cuando los maestros dan tutoría el 25 de agosto, cuando tengamos el regreso um, a la escuela. Um, uh, so the question um, is, what if you turn 12 after you enter school and you don't have a COVID vaccine? So Astros, if you turn 12 after and you don't have a COVID vaccine, the COVID vaccine is a recommendation, but it's not a requirement. So you still come to school. But we do highly recommend that you, you get it. So, alumnos, si ustedes no, han, eh, no tienen dos años todavía y cuando regresen a la escuela apenas van a cumplir dos años durante esos meses um, y luego agarran la vacuna, eso está bien. De todos modos, pueden venir a la escuela. Recuerden, lo importante es la máscara. You gotta have your mask on. Wash your hands. Um, todos esos requisitos es algo que se tiene que hacer. Okay? Um, really good questions. All right, any last questions before we move on? Because there's still a little bit of information. Go ahead, Mr. Mariscal. So for, I know that school is going to be back in session in full mode and it's not the same thing as summer school, um, but how will the uh, loading and, and pickup be for, for the parents and the students and how will that shake out with uh, the community residents? So I will tell you this, Mr. Mariscal, um, I grew up in East LA. <laughs> And I'm not, I'm not laughing at you. I, I hope you see my smiles coming from like knowing exactly what you're talking about. If I had a magical wand and could zap all the traffic away from East LA, from our freeways, I would do it. Um, so one of the things that we do is just even the start time, we start at 810 and we specifically try to do that because of the local schools. Um, as much as we wanna try to avoid traffic, we really can't stop it completely. Um, um, but one of the things that we're doing, even when, and in a moment, we're going to talk details about what the pickup, what the drop-off is going to look like, which will give you an idea of what the uh, drop-off is going to be like. Um, and so I'll give you details into that. And so, you know, we do try um, our best um, to, um, you know, tear things out. Um, but sometimes, you know, if uh, the students you feel comfortable are old enough, I know sometimes families when they pair up, sometimes the students, and I'm not saying this, um, they have siblings at another school, they walk together and they pick them up there. That's not what I'm encouraging, um, but we will do our best um, um, to um, make, have a smooth uh, pickup um, screen, um, drop off screening and then pick up system um, for all of you, um, those that are not staying in after school. I'm gonna give a little more detail about that later on. Um, and if I don't answer your question, then please remind me again. Entonces el señor, um, Mariscal dijo que este, cómo vamos a mantener ese tráfico en la comunidad, que es una muy buena pregunta y me pongo la sonrisa no porque me estoy riendo de él, este, sino porque um, yo crecí en el este de Los Ángeles y el tráfico siempre ha sido tráfico hasta en mis tiempos. Traffic was always an issue even when I was around. 
Um, I wish I could make, quisiera de que no eh, tuviéramos tráfico, pero lo que sí vamos a hacer es por eso que tenemos el empiezo a las 8 o 10 de la mañana y eso era en este um, eh, comparación um, eh, a las otras escuelas que están en, nuestra, en su alrededor. Es por eso que empezamos a las 8 o 10. And that's another reason why, because of the different school uh, strengths of cómo empiezan las otras escuelas. Um, So, eso es algo que, que vamos a hacer, pero en un momento vamos a dar más detalle de cómo va a ser eh, cuando dejan a los alumnos y cuando uh, los recogen. Um, sí va a haber un día especial, señora Clotilde, uh, para conocer uh, a los um, a maestros um, eh, um, en persona. Uh, perdón, eh, no, no estamos seguros todavía um, si va a ser en persona esa junta, pero sí vamos a tener regreso a la escuela el 25 de agosto. So, on August 25th, it's going to be back to school night, um, and you're going to be able to meet all of the teachers, van a poder conocer a los maestros. Um, eh, eh, por supuesto, va a ser por Zoom, pero sí los van a poder conocer. Um, the question also is, will students be able to walk home? Students will be able to be, uh, walk home. It is up to the parent to decide if they can. Entonces, sí, los alumnos van a poder caminar a casa, pero va a ser eh, decisión de sus padres para darles ese permiso. Muy buenas preguntas. Really good questions. Keep them coming. All right. Any last questions um, before I move on? And again, even if we go through the presentation, type them in the chat and we'll go back and make sure that we address it. Oh, I think I missed one. How do we know if we have gotten the, the Tdap vaccine? Um, it should be in your vaccination card. Um, um, Janet, so um, you'll know if you got your vaccine, um, it'll say it there. So, familias, este, cada familia tiene eh, un, um, eh, una carta o un, o un papel que tiene todas las vacunas que su hijo ha tenido. Ahí va a indicar si han recibido el TDAP o no. So, make sure you check with your parents, up, okay? Um, all right. We talked a lot about safety. We talked a lot about um, what we're doing. Um, again, families, um, if you are interested in the independent study, um, Ms. Otero and Mr. Vaughn put our emails there. Please email us directly and let us know if your child is interested. Um, familias, este, si ustedes están interesados en eh, los estudios independientes, que es algo que el alumno uh, va a poder um, eh, hacer el trabajo independientemente, este, por favor, mándenos ese eh, correo electrónico. Um, ahora lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a hablar de detalles de la escuela. ¿Qué tiempo? ¿A qué hora se empieza? ¿A qué hora se acaba? Todos esos detalles. So now we're going to transition into realities of first year school. Drop off, pick up, what to expect. Um, um, Mr. Mariscal, I see, I don't know if you raised your hand again. Um, when we have um, another pause, I'm going to go first to you, okay? I have not forgotten about you. Um, because I maybe I'll answer your question in the next piece of information. Um, and uh, we will hopefully respond. If not, make sure to ask when we have another pause, okay? Um, all right, here we go. Go ahead, Ms. Sotero and Mr. Vaughn. Um, go ahead and let them know about our uniforms. Yep, so all students need to come to uh, school in the correct AEO uniform. You can see it on the right here. We have the blue polo with the AEO logo. And there's also a jacket that has the AEO logo. The uniform vendor is located on 1065 South Main Street in Los Angeles. Go ahead and write that address down, or you can also search up um, the name Easy Pro to find the vendor. You can call them here on this phone number, 714-381-5874, uh, if you have any questions. And I believe you can also go to their website here and order it online. Um, we do not sell uniforms directly from our school. So it's important that you go there as soon as possible just to be ready for the, the start of the year. Todos los estudiantes deben tener su uniforme escolar de AEO para empezar la escuela el primer día. Eh, el, el uniforme escolar consiste en el polo oficial de la escuela con el logo de la escuela, como pueden ver en la pantalla. Um, y pueden comprar eh, este polo, esta camisa de, de la escuela en el, la tienda Easy Pro. Y el negocio se encuentra en el centro de Los Ángeles y aquí está la dirección. Um, también está el número de teléfono del negocio y también el, la, el, la dirección de internet. Um, tomen una foto de esta pantalla o apunten esta información porque no vamos a vender, eh, no estamos vendiendo el uniforme en la escuela. Um, eh, y también, también pueden comprar 
si gustan la chamarra, pero no es necesario. Solamente es necesario comprar, comprar el polo oficial de la escuela aquí um, en esta tienda. So a few more uniform guidelines that are important for the beginning of the year. Uh, once again, students can only wear the blue AEO polo. Make sure you get that from the vendor. For our pants, students will be wearing beige khaki pants or knee length shorts or skirts. Um, they should not wear jeans or leggings. And if it does get cold, as it infrequently does, but once it starts getting cold in the winter, students can wear an all black sweater, sweatshirt or jacket, and it can have an emblem on it, but no bigger than an index card. What we mean by that is, we understand it's difficult to find a sweatshirt that's completely all black. So you can get an all black one with a small Nike logo and that's okay. You can get one with an Adidas logo and that's okay. As long as it's no bigger than an index card, they can still wear that sweater. You may already have one at home actually. A few more things, hoodies are not allowed on campus, no hats or caps on campus. And then we also have something called the 1023 colleges for me, college gear days. So on the 10th or the 23rd of every month, students can wear a college sweatshirt, jacket, or shirt um, to school instead of, their instead of their uniform shirt. However, they still need to wear their uniform bottoms. That's the 1023 colleges for me, college gear days. So the 10th and 23rd of every month, they can wear a college shirt, sweater, or jacket, um, but they still need to wear their uniform bottoms, the khakis. Uh, un poquito sobre nuestra póliza de uniforme. Um, como dijimos anteriormente, um, deben usar el polo oficial eh, de la escuela con el logo de la escuela. Los pantalones pueden ser cualquier pantalón de color khaki. Um, eh, no pueden ser eh, pantalón de mezclilla, uh, pero deben ser eh, pantalón de color khaki de este color como crema que está aquí en la pantalla. Um, pueden usar pantalón corto. Um, y las niñas pueden usar falta, nada más pedimos que, si, eh, que sea de, eh, de un largo a, apropiado, um, preferir, preferiblemente a la rodilla. Um, también pedimos que no um, usen mallas, um, las niñas no usan mallas, pueden usar mallas debajo de, de, de la falda, pero no mallas um, en vez de pantalón. Uh, también en cuanto al abrigo, todos los abrigos o suéteres um, o chamarras deben ser eh, negros. Y si tienen un logo, eh, que el logo no sea más grande que una tarjeta de índice o una tarjeta de crédito. Um, no permitimos uh, capuchas o gorras um, en, nuestro, en nuestra escuela. Y si el abrigo o, el, o la chamarra tiene capucha, Um, pedimos que eh, los niños no tengan la capucha puesta en la escuela, um, mucho menos en sus clases. También tenemos algo especial en nuestra escuela que se llama el 10 y 20, días 10 y 23. Um, y son días del co de colegio o de poder usar camisas um, o chamarras um, de, de colegios o universidades. Si um, cada mes, el 10 y el 23 de cada mes, si ese día cae entre semana, um, pueden usar una camisa de colegio o universidad con su pantalón de, de la, de, del uniforme. Um, si cae domingo, no cuenta para el lunes. Tiene que caer lunes a viernes. I also wanted to add, I think I didn't mention it, and there was a question in the last presentation about shoes and backpacks. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Ms. Otero and Ms. Ibarra, but I believe you can wear, you can bring any color backpack and you can bring any color shoes to campus. Is that correct? Awesome. Um, and then there was one question in the chat from Ms. Gutierrez. I got my son Levi's color khakis. If they're the, a khaki color, um, which is like a light brown beige color, um, I'm colorblind, so I'm trying my best. But if it's that color, then it should be, it should be fine. Yes, I think you're, you answered correctly, uh, Mr. Vaughn. Um, uh, there's also a question about shoes. Eh, de los zapatos, los zapatos pueden ser de cualquier color también. Um, eh, los mochilas pueden ser de cualquier color. Now, students, as far as backpacks, you can bring any color backpack that you want, my loves, but just make sure that the, whatever you put on the backpack is appropriate, right? We don't want anything that's a foul language 
or anything that has any type of drug paraphernalia, you're a college bound student, so we want your backpack to be college bound, no tagging, none of that on your bag. Entonces, las mochilas pueden ser de cualquier color, con que, uh, y si tienen calcomanías o tienen diferentes este, decoración, que la decoración sea apropiada, que no tenga malas palabras, que no tenga nada de, eh, de drogas o tagging. Recuerden, uh, astros, ustedes son alumnos que van a ir al colegio, entonces sus mochilas tienen que ser igual. Um, tengo una pregunta. ¿Y van a tener um, PE? Ok. So voy a responder, señora, y quizás van a hacerlos felices a los niños y quizás no. Uh, no tenemos educación física en nuestra escuela. Um, uh, we do not have PE at our school. Our charter does not require it. Pero sí tenemos oportunidad con el programa de después de escuela de deportes. Les voy a decir que orgullosamente aún nosotros seguimos siendo los campeones de fútbol. Um, we are the soccer champions still. Um, even though we didn't have a game last year because there was a pandemic, but we're still the champions. Entonces va a haber mucha oportunidad eh, en después de escuela y también este, vamos a tener eventos durante el año um, eh, donde los niños van a tener la oportunidad de moverse y de jugar. So families, we do not offer PE at our school. Um, it is not um, something that's um, mandated by our charter, um, but we will have plenty of opportunity for students to participate in sports. I'm very proud to say um, that we are the uh, Green Dot uh, Middle School Soccer Champions. We actually have the coach present, Mr. Alvarado, who's the soccer coach. El señor Alvarado, gerente de la oficina, era el coach de los alumnos. Um, and so there'll be plenty of opportunity. Vamos a tener mucha oportunidad um, so that uh, students can play and move um, during um, our events and with the after school program. Really good questions. Muy buenas preguntas. Um, okay. So, um, ah, I think I skipped a little bit. Okay. Let me go to this one. Um, families, I'm going to say it in English first, and then I'm going to move it over um, to Spanish. Um, we have a very strict um, electronics policy, okay? We understand that students have cell phones, they may have ear, um, AirPods, not AirPods. Ear, they're AirPods, not AirPods, right? The little ones. I don't even have AirPods because I'd probably lose them. But anyway, we understand that nowadays, mostly all children have phones, and we totally get it. Um, children are allowed to have their phones, um, um, with them, but it cannot be seen and it cannot be heard and to keep it in their backpack. They cannot have it out, um, you know, in the hallways during lunch and things like that. Um, uh, let's just say uh, if your child um, is using the cell phone, whether they're online or whatever, texting someone um, during class or during the time, you know, during um, school hours, um, the phone will be confiscated and returned to the student 15 minutes after school ends. Why 15 minutes after school ends? And we want to focus on security and supervision and focus on that first and then allow the student to pick up their phone. Now, if your child um, can, um, you know, if your child um, is, uh, let's just say this happens often, um, we will reach out to you and let you know um, uh, um, that their phone continues to be confiscated. Familias, tenemos un, eh, una póliza muy estricta de celulares. Entendemos que es algo muy común que los alumnos este, um, tienen celulares o tienen los AirPods. Um, en la escuela no se pueden permitir eh, ser vistos. Entonces pueden tener el celular con ellos, pero no pueden tenerlo prendido ni que lo vea, veamos. Este, um, y esto ocurre en la clase, en los pasillos, durante el noche, siempre. Ahora, si su hijo o hija, este, por una cosa o la otra, está texteando, está en el internet, lo que sea, Le vamos a quitar el teléfono, se lo regresamos después de la escuela y se les regresa eh, 15 minutos después de que acaba la escuela. ¿Por qué 15 minutos? La razón es porque después de la escuela hay mucho movimiento. Queremos enfocarnos en la seguridad y super, supervisión primero y luego se les da el, um, el teléfono para atrás. Ahora, si esto ocurre varias veces, varias veces tómenlo por seguro que nosotros uh, vamos a eh, llamarles a ustedes. Um, Ahora, um, hay unas preguntas, um, and I'll go ahead and address some questions about the cell phones. Um, absolutely, um, you know, if you need to contact your child and it's an emergency, um, you know, please call the school office and let us know. Um, students, um, you know, if it's an emergency and something happens, let's just say, oh, you saw it, like, talk to us. I think at the end of the day, we have this policy but communicate with us, communicate with our teachers and 
and, and say, you know what, I'm having a family emergency. I need to get a hold of my mom. I need to use my phone. Can I go to the main office so that we know that it's happening? Talk to us. Al final del día, um, que se comuniquen con nosotros, entendemos que hay emergencias, pero este, si es una emergencia grande, eh, comuníquese con nosotros o con la oficina. Um, en un momento, señora Andrade, vamos a hablar del programa de después de escuela. Si quieres esperar un momentito, le vamos a dar información. We're going to share the after school program information in a moment um, so that you'll be able to um, sign up your child. The other thing, families, that I want to share, and I'll say this in English and then I'll say it in Spanish, is um, bullying is real. Um, AEO is a, a, we don't tolerate bullying at our school. We don't tolerate bullying at our school in person. We do not, um, uh, uh, you know, tolerate bullying online. And I say that because many students have social media accounts. That is a personal choice. That's a parent's choice. I personally do not allow my daughter yet to have social media yet, um, but it happens. Sometimes, um, you know, students bully each other even online. If the school finds out about it, is it is we, you know, um, make sure that we follow our policy um, and we mediate and we, there are consequences for that. Um, but we do have four very simple um, anti-bullying rules at our school. We are an OVA school, which is an, an, a nationally known uh, anti-bullying program. And the four rules are simple. One is we will not bully others. Two, we will try to help students who are bullied. Three, we will include students who are left out. If you see a student that's eating alone, you know, obviously you're not gonna want them to sit so, so close to you, but include them, you know, um, try to make them your friend. And then the last rule is really, really important families and students is if you know if someone's being bullied, tell an adult at school or tell an adult at home. A lot of the times, um, you know, there's been cases where you know, maybe a parent will say, oh, you know, my child's being bullied, you didn't do anything about it, but yet no one told anyone anything about it. Um, I guarantee you that as a school, we want to do the best that we can, but we need your help. So please make sure that you communicate us as much, communicate with us as much as possible. Um, familias, um, el bullying es algo que es real. Um, es algo que ocurre, pero nosotros en nuestra escuela no lo toleramos. AIO es una escuela contra el bullying. Um, eh, no solamente en persona, pero eh, por las redes sociales, porque ocurre. Muchos de los alumnos, aunque no tengan edad. I don't know if you know this family. Sorry to switch back to English. They need to be 13 to have a social media account. Just saying. La student, eh, los alumnos tienen que tener 13 años para tener una cuenta uh, de um, eh, TikTok, de Instagram o de Facebook. Um, entonces, técnicamente, muchos de ellos no tienen nada para tener una cuenta, pero entiendo que eso es decisión de padres. Um, pero familias, este, um, nosotros no toleramos, como les decimos, el bullying. Um, hasta que sea eh, en la red, si nosotros nos damos cuenta, eh, tomamos este, eh, pasos para asegurar que todo uh, no ocurra otra vez. Tenemos cuatro reglas muy específicas cortas del bullying en nuestra escuela. Eh, somos nosotros parte de un programa que se llama OVS, que es un programa nacional de prevención de bullying. Uno es que uh, no vamos a hacer el bullying a otros. Vamos a ayudar a alumnos que es, uh, son víctimas de bullying. También vamos a incluir a alumnos que eh, están um, solos. Entonces, si los ven, um, que los junten, que hablen con ellos. Y últimamente, eso es muy importante. Si nosotros no sabemos que está pasando el bullying, no podemos hacer nada. Si un padre viene con nosotros y nos dice, eh, mi hijo o hija está pasando por bullying y usted no ha hecho nada, la primera cosa que vamos a hacer es preguntar, habló con alguien, eh, supo alguien. Porque si no sabemos, no podemos hacer nada. Necesitamos su ayuda. Queremos hacer lo mejor para ustedes, pero necesitamos ayuda. Entonces, la última regla es, si los, eh, ustedes conocen a alguien que ha sido víctima de bullying, um, por favor, diga, hable con un adulto en la escuela o en la casa. Okay. Um, esto es también muy grande en la escuela. Um, I'm going to go ahead. This is a big one too. I'm going to go ahead and say it in English and then switch over um, to um, uh, Spanish. Um, and I apologize, families. This is a long meeting, but it's long because there's two things that we're dealing with. We're dealing with safety and then general school stuff. Normally, they're not this long. Pero ya sé que esta junta está larga, pero recuerden que ahora es diferente. Ahora tenemos que hablar de la seguridad y de la escuela. Um, so, um, Outside food and beverage, we only allow water to drink for students. Why is that? Um, we want to keep students healthy um, 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 in their mind, their heart, overall health. And so we don't allow um, sugary drinks, energy drinks, 
um, you know, big old Starbucks coffees. Do we give treats to kids? Absolutely, it's given after school, but this isn't something that's regular practice. Do we have, you know, events um, when it's gonna be safe to have events? Yes, we will. Um, but we wanna encourage students to eat healthy. We contract with an organic um, school lunch company. We provide breakfast, we provide lunch, and then an after school program, they also get a snack or supper, okay? And if you have any questions about this, please contact the office. Remember to send your child with a refillable water bottle. Uh, familias, esto es muy importante. Este, queremos que sus hijos estén saludables en la mente, en su corazón, físicamente. Y queremos que sus hijos solamente tomen agua en la escuela. Y que no tomen cosas que tienen mucho azúcar, que no vengan con sus vasotes de Starbucks um, o bebidas de energía. Um, este, porque si entran con eso y es en la mañana, vamos a pedirles que lo tiren. If your child comes in in the morning, we are going to ask them to throw that away in the morning. Um, uh, eh, tomen en cuenta que nosotros contratamos con Revolution Foods, que es una compañía que da lo, eh, almuerzo orgánico. Um, y damos desayuno, damos almuerzo y también damos este, uh, cena y snack um, para este, eh, eh, este estar en programas de escuelas de escuela. Ahora, si tienen alguna pregunta de esto, por favor, nos pueden contactar. And yes, they can bring a hydro. That's perfect. Hydros keep them cold, so that's awesome. Si pueden traer esos eh, um, botellas um, eh, eh, uh, hydro, que son que los mantiene um, uh, fríos, pueden traerlos. All right, go ahead, Mr. Vaughn and Ms. Sotero. Um, ¿Cuándo empieza la escuela? Okay, I'll be doing this in English and Spanish. So our school starts at 8, 10 a.m. every day. On Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, our school ends at 3.30. And on Wednesdays and Fridays, our school ends at 2.10 and we will have after school program every day of the week. Uh, la, el comienzo de la escuela es a las 8.10 todas las mañanas. Los lunes, martes y jueves eh, terminamos a las 3 y media y los miércoles y viernes termino, terminamos a las 2.10. Um, todos los días tenemos el programa de después de la escuela que va hasta las 6 y media. So our after school program does end at 6.30 every day. The reason why we get out at 2.10 on Wednesdays and Fridays is because all teachers are in professional development on those two days. La razón por la cual salimos, um, terminamos a las dos días, um, dos días de la semana es porque todos los maestros están participando en desarrollo profesional um, esos dos días de la semana. Um, parents, you can drop your kids off um, starting at 7.30. We actually st um, moved the start time earlier um, due to um, just our, we, ease of, of entering campus with our screening and safe and COVID protocol. So if necessary, you can drop them off starting at 7.30, um, but the first bell doesn't ring until 8.05, and that's the bell that lets kids know it's time to start walking to class, and they have to be in their seats at 8.10. Abrimos la escuela a las siete y media, y es un poquito más temprano que antes, y es para darles tiempo para, um, todo la, para entrar con calma y hacer sus, lo, el chequeo de COVID, etcétera, eh, eh, etcétera. Um, pero la primera, uh, la primera campana no suena hasta las 8.05 y esa es la ca campana que indica que ya es tiempo de ir caminando al salón y los niños tienen que estar sentados en su salón a las 8.10 de la mañana. And uh, Mr. Mariscal, yes, great question. Can, a, can you have a schedule? Yes, we will be posting the schedule. Um, on our social media and students will receive a copy of the schedule too. Um, and it, if I'm not mistaken, it may be going out in mailers as well to parents. Yes, and in addition to that, our schedule will also be posted onto our school website. Um, and so if there's ever any changes, uh, Mr. Mariscal, you're gonna see that we love to post on social media and we also like to send messages on Remind. So make sure that you sign up for Remind um, to receive those um, continuous messages if there's ever a change in schedule. When you also have your appointment um, um, to drop off documents, you'll also be getting a copy of it. All right, do you want me to take this one, um, Ms. Otero? I think I already mentioned it, Miss. I talked about it in the last slide. Okay. All right, I mean. I have a question. When you yeah. have the meeting to drop off the document, that they, uh, are they gonna drop out the books as well? Or it's gonna be an extra meeting for that? No, no, no. We want to avoid that. Um, we know everyone's busy. Um, you're actually going to be able to sign up for your appointment today. So if you, <laughs> excuse me, if you do have a books 
from the previous year that need to be turned in, you'll be able to bring those books. And in a moment, I'll actually show you exactly what you need to bring. So in a moment, I'll show you exactly what you need to bring. So in a moment, I'll actually show you exactly what you need to bring. So in a moment, I'll actually show you exactly what you need to bring. So in a moment, I'll actually show you exactly what you need to bring. So in a moment, I'll actually show you exactly what you need to bring. So in a moment, I'll actually show you exactly what you need to bring. So in a moment, I'll actually show you exactly what you need to bring. So in a moment, I'll actually show you exactly what you need to bring. So in a moment, I'll actually show you exactly what you need to bring. So in a moment, I'll actually show you exactly what you need to bring. So in a moment, I'll actually show you exactly what you need to bring. Um, there's a couple of ways that you can sign up. Um, you can email um, the uh, site coordinator, Ms. Ramos, directly, um, and the email is there. You can go on to their site as well and enroll your child, or you can also pick up a hard copy of the application when you drop off your documents. Um, um, or you can call the school if none of those work, and we can assist you. Entonces, familias, Woodcraft Rangers es nuestro programa de después de escuela. Este, um, y no corre hasta las seis, es hasta las seis y media um, durante el año escolar. Hay diferentes maneras que pueden um, apuntar a sus hijos. Pueden apuntarlos eh, yendo, eh, mandándole un correo electrónico a la señorita Ramos, la coordinadora de nuestra escuela. Aquí está su email. O también puede ir al sitio de Wordcraft Rangers. Y también vamos a tener aplicaciones disponibles para ustedes para que los llenen <coughs> durante cuando tengan sus documentos. Ahora, um, uh, now, uh, what should your child bring? It's a first day of school, August 11th. What do we do? Number one, a mask. Mask, 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 one on them and one in their backpack. A refillable water bottle, personal antibacterial sanitizer. We will have sanitizing stations all over, but it's always good to have it. A backpack with basic supplies, pencils, three-room binder, divider, college rule paper, and of course, their uniform. Entonces, es el 11 de agosto, ¿Qué exactamente tiene que traer su hijo o hija a la escuela? Primeramente la máscara, no solamente la máscara que se tiene puesta, pero también una extra. Es su botella de agua que no necesariamente está por una que se pueda llenar otra vez. Un este antibacterial personal, vamos a tener diferentes sitios, pero es importante que tengan uno también. Su mochila, lápices, su carpeta um, de, um, de tres hoyitos, um, dividores y papel. Y su uniforme. Una, una sonrisa and a smile. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, that's all we need to bring for the first day of school. All right, Ms. Otero, go right ahead. So where will my student get their classes on the first day of school? I'm sure students are wondering this and students are probably, you know, sharing their concern with their parents. So we're gonna answer that right now. Um, so students will be able to pick up their schedules at the blue lunch benches. Um, students are going to enter. We're going to have our blue lunch benches that are outside set up um, by last name. And students will find the table with the first letter of their last name. Um, so for example, my last name is Otero. So I'm going to go to the table that has an O and I will be given my class schedule there. And there's going to be many, 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 many adults on campus to help that day and to guide students and to assist them if they need it. Parents won't be able to enter, but don't worry parents, we're there to help your children once they enter campus. So again, students um, and parents just, um, parents tell your students if they're not listening, students go to the table that starts with the first letter of your last name and you will be given your class schedule on the first day of school. Entonces, ¿dónde, dónde y cuándo los um, van a recibir los niños su radio de clases? El, los horarios de clases um, eh, los vamos a, a dar el primer día de escuela. Um, los niños van a entrar y donde están las mesas azules afuera, eh, van a ir a esas mesas y las mesas van a, a, a estar, um, van, a, van a ir a la mesa que empieza con el, la primera letra de su apellido. Por ejemplo, si su apellido es, mi apellido es Otero, voy a ir a la mesa que tiene una O y ahí me van a entregar mi horario de clases. Um, si mi apellido es Castellón, voy a ir a la mesa que empieza con C y ahí me van a entregar mi horario de clases el primer día de la escuela. Va a haber muchísimos adultos, eh, personal de la escuela que vamos a estar ahí ayudando um, a los niños, guiándolos, cont contestando preguntas. Así que no se preocupen, papás. Ese día no van a poder entrar ese momento ustedes, pero ahí vamos a estar nosotros para, para ayudar a los niños um, si tienen preguntas. We're almost at the end. I promise, promise, promise. I'm gonna go through this quickly. Um, feel free to ask any last questions or put it in the chat. Um, I wanna make sure you have all the information you need. 
No. So All it's right. going to be by last name and not by gray. Because you know, Correct. it's going to be a lot of gray. So are they going to be all messed up and you just look for your last name, that's it? Oh no, there, there's, there's, <laughs> a, I'll tell you this. Um, it is not going to be that kids are going to get it. We're going to have a lot of adults on campus that are going to help them. So they will give the, uh, they'll, they'll, for example, they'll go to the table, they'll see their letter. They'll say, my name is um, Cynthia Ibarra. And they'll see that letter and then the person will give them their uh, um, um, schedule. Their schedule. Um, it's not going to be all on a table and they grab it. Yeah. Absolutely not. Absolutely An adult not. will be giving the schedule to the child. Okay, yes. thank you. It's good, yeah. you know, for seventh grade, it's a well, it's the first time going there. <laughs> oh, for, well, Miss Castaneda, for everybody, we haven't been there in a long time. So we're treating this as our very, very first day of school. Like we're all sixth graders right now. Um, but yes, I think there was a question um, from, is that you, was that your question, Ms. Castaneda, that you had your hand up? Was that it? I'm, I want to make sure I don't ignore anyone. No, it wasn't me. Okay. It's me. Okay, go right ahead. Is, uh, hola, Ms. Ibarra. Soy Yvette, uh, la mamá de Matthew Galván. Recuerda, él estuvo el, el año sí, pasado. Sí, sí, en... sí. Bueno, <laughs> señora. Sí, este, mi pregunta es que Matthew... Digo, Nicolás es mi otro hijo, va a estar con ustedes este año. Y él lleva un, un AP de, de speech. Yo quiero saber, eh, como no se ha tocado el tema sobre los niños que tienen speech o tienen un AP, quiero saber si la reunión se va a hacer después de que entren o antes. Sí, um, so voy, del a 11. sí voy a responder um, en, en español. Eh, primeramente, señora, este um, importante que entregue su um, IEP uh, reciente de su hijo. Um, también el 3 de um, agosto vamos a tener una junta separada para que um, usted ya está, sí, ha sido parte de nuestro equipo donde sabe más o menos cómo manejamos sí. el, el sistema. Pero vamos a tener una junta separada para de, de, en detalle decir un poquito más de cómo trabaja Animo uh -huh. Ocho para alumnos que tienen un IEP. Um, pero este, lo importante es con que entregues tu IEP reciente. Ese es el primer paso. So families, um, we are a, a school that accepts all students. If your child has an IEP, make sure you've already turned in the most recent IEP. On August 3rd, um, please make sure you keep um, an eye on social media and remind. We're going to have a separate meeting for families of students um, that have IEPs so to get a better idea of what services are provided at our school. But the first step is to make sure that you have a recent IEP on file for your child. Um, all right, um, I'm going to go over um, important dates. Um, this is the big one. Um, AEO Documentation Day is going to be on Friday, July 30th, and Tuesday, August 3rd. It is by appointment only. You're going to book today, um, um, right now, in a moment. Um, bring your emergency, they're going to fill out your emergency card, textbook form, media release form, and any books that perhaps your child had from a previous year. Entonces, este, um, eh, el 30 de uh, julio y el 3 de agosto vamos a tener el día de documentación de Anima Ochoa. A mí es por cita, hoy van a agarrar su cita, van a llenar la carta, de, traer la carta de emergencia, de libros, eh, el media release form. Y si su hijo o hija tiene unos um, eh, libros del año pasado, también los van a traer. Ahora, um, and families, if your child has a Chromebook or laptop from the previous year, um, don't bring it. They actually keep it. Um, so I'm very happy to say that um, all children who have it, they'll be getting a computer for home, and then they'll have a computer to use at school. Entonces, um, si tienen, if you have the computer, don't bring it. Si tienen la computadora, no la traigan. Quédense con la computadora mientras que estén en nuestra escuela. All right. Um, another thing that we're doing, families, is we're doing a um, tour. Um, some of you have never been to our campus inside. You might want to see it. Um, we're doing a tour um, on... Um, the 30th, which is this Friday, um, um, for um, limited to 30 people where you're going to be able to meet me. I'll be able to kind of guide you through the school. You'll be able to ask more questions. If you're interested in this tour, please let our office uh, team know that you're interested so they can sign you up. And this is for your child and for you or even you if you just want to come. Familias, también vamos a tener un tour el 30 de agosto, que es este, de, no hay de agosto, santo Dios, el 30 de julio, que es este viernes, para este cupo limitado, 
porque entendemos que hay unas personas que nunca han venido a nuestra escuela. Quizás ustedes tienen preocupación, quizás se van a sentir mejor en ver qué son todas las cosas que vamos a hacer. Si están interesados en este tour, por favor, díganle a la oficina cuando tengamos um, las citas um, que se van a apuntar en un momento. Uh, lastly, we have a uh, back to school night, which is August 25th. Um, that's coming up, so make sure um, you put that um, on your calendar. This is, um, we're not sure if it's going to be in person for now, it's going to be on Zoom, but please hold tight if it is in person. It's an opportunity to meet your child's teachers and know some of their major projects. Vamos a tener regreso a la escuela el 25 de agosto um, para que ustedes conozcan a los maestros de sus hijos y también saber qué son unos de los proyectos um, um, uh, grandes que van a estar haciendo. Este es el 25 um, de agosto. Última cosa que les vamos a pedir, síganos en el Instagram, en el Facebook, ahí ponemos mucha información. Last thing that I'm going to ask families is please make sure to follow AEO on social media, on Facebook, and on Instagram. Okay? And uh, Jasmine, you do not need to bring your computer to class, keep it at home. Um, last uh, uh, comment is we are still enrolling, we have limited spots in sixth and seventh grade. So if you know of a family that needs a quality school, please spread the word about Animo El Nocho. We greatly appreciate it. We do have an eighth grade waitlist. Familias, aún hay cupos limitados en el sexto y séptimo grado, pero sí hay lista de espera para el ocho. Pero este si conocen a una familia que necesita una escuela de calidad, por favor, díganles de Animo El Nocho. Okay? All right. Muchas gracias por estar con nosotros. Yo sé que era largo, pero uh, no, I know this was a long meeting, but our spirit was to know, make sure that you had all your questions answered. Um, queríamos que todos tuvieran sus preguntas, um, uh, sus respuestas a las preguntas que tenían. Ahora voy a dejar al señor uh, Alvarado que empiece a hacerles las citas. Muchísimas gracias por su esfuerzo. Gracias por traer a sus hijos. Y eh, I'm very excited to meet all of you. Or at least to see your eyes from here up. You know me because you can see my mouth and you've seen our videos. Um, but I'm excited to meet everyone. Estoy muy entusiasmada a conocer a sus hijos. Mr. Alvarado, go ahead and take it away. And at this point, you could stop recording. <laughs> Sounds good, Ms. Ibar. Okay, familias, entonces, ahorita van a recibir una invitación, eh, perdón, van a, a ser puestos en otro uh, cuarto aquí en la junta de, de por Zoom. Van a ser puestos automáticamente ese cuarto. Uh, nomás reciban su cita y prácticamente la, la junta ha acabado. Entonces, um, se pueden retirar. Family, so right now you'll be placed in a breakout room uh, up here in the Zoom meeting to be able to schedule your appointment. Um, it, like Ms. Ibarra mentioned, if you do want to be part of that tour, make sure you mention it to the office a staff member that will help you schedule your appointment. Familia, si están interesados en el um, en el tour que Ms. Ibarra mencionó, um, nada más recuerden que se lo mencionan a um, el miembro de la oficina que les va a ayudar a hacer su cita ahorita. So the appointments that you're going to be booked for, they're actually going to do it now for you. So if you just hold tight, um, you can go ahead and get your appointment now. Um, Mr. Alvarado, they're asking for the specific site, but at this point you prefer um, for them just to maybe wait a couple of minutes and then they'll get their appointment immediately, right? Got That's it. Right. Okay. That's right. Yeah, I apologize for it being so long, but again, there's just so much information to cover, but if you hold tight, you'll get your appointment immediately. And for now, keep those questions coming. If you have them and you're still here, we're going to hang out here for a bit more.
Mr. Alvarado, I think you're still recording.